Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I truly appreciate you coming to check me out. Today's What You Should Know Wednesday video is going to be all about hair oils. So please keep in mind that this video is just like an introduction type of video and I don't really want to spend too, too much time going into depth because then this video will be extremely long and I know y'all probably don't really care for very long videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible while still giving you a great deal of information. So hair oils can provide so many benefits to natural hair and I hope that you know you take something away from this video that can potentially help you along your natural hair journey. So having a hair oil or hair oil mixture can really help in growing your hair, can help thicken your hair, it can also help to seal in the moisture into your hair and I will get into that a little bit later in the video. One thing to keep in mind though when it comes to oils is that not all oils are created equal. So there are there's two main types of oils, one being carrier oils and the second being essential oils. Carrier oils are made from either a nut, a seed, or a kernel, and they can be used on their own or they can also be mixed with other, excuse me, other carrier oils and also be used to dilute essential oils. Carrier oils usually have a very light scent and contain a great number of vitamins, nutrients, as well as fatty acids. Now some examples of carrier oils include avocado oil, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, and the list does go on. Now some of my favorite oils that I do like to keep on hand include um, apricot oil, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. And I'll have the links to these oils down below in the description box just in case you're interested in checking them out. My favorite oil of the three right now though is the apricot oil. I use this in my DIY hair oil mixture and also I love to just apply it directly onto my skin after I hop out the shower. So while my skin is still damp, I will apply the apricot kernel oil and y'all, it has softened my skin so much. So much to the point to where even my husband noticed how much softer my skin is. <laughs> I have included a table from getoiling.com. Now this table is skin focused. It doesn't really talk about carrier oils for hair. And if I'm able to find a table that talks about um, carrier oils and which ones are best for you know different hair types or whatever, I will include that as well. But this table really does a good job with showing you what oils are um, you know best suited for various skin types. It also shows you what type of oil um, it is. So if it's a liquid oil or a soft oil, etc. One thing that I really liked about this table is that it shows the absorption rate and also shows whether the oil is has a higher chance or a lower chance of clogging your pores. So I just felt like that was just good information, just generally speaking, whether you want to use these oils for your hair or your body. That way you can know which oil may be best for you to pick up for your skin. And like I said, if I'm able to find a table, then I'll post it here right now. If you didn't see a, a picture pop up, then I didn't find one that I felt was really good. <laughs> So yeah, but you can really do your research though and there are so many good websites out there that really help to break down what carrier oils are really good for different hair types or whatever it is that your goal is for your hair. Now what I will say about carrier oils is um, as it relates to your hair, um, if you have thicker hair then you will probably need a thicker type of oil so like shea butter. Shea butter is technically considered an oil because if you leave it out you, we know that it will melt and become an oil. So if you have thicker hair, then you may be better suited using something like um, shea butter or mango butter or um, coconut butter, you know, things like, of that nature. But if you are someone who has thinner or finer hair, then oils such as apricot oil or jojoba oil may be better for you. So it really just depends on what your hair type is and like I said, what it is that your, what your goal is for your hair. Now let's move on to essential oils. Essential oils are extracted from plants. So they come from the flower, the fruit, um, the bark, or even the root of a plant or a tree. And they are so highly concentrated that they must be diluted. So you have to dilute them in a carrier oil before you apply them to your hair or to your body or where, however you plan to use them. You must dilute them in a carrier oil. So please do that because I don't want you to have any type of adverse reaction to these essential oils. Now these oils, just really just one drop of these oils contains so many great benefits and 
there are oils that have different properties so essential oils can be very beneficial in again helping your hair to grow stimulating hair growth also helping to um, relieve itchy scalp or um, reduce inflammation and some examples of essential oils include peppermint oil, lavender, rosemary, rose essential oil, lemon essential oil, and the list goes on, just like with carrier oils. The list absolutely does go on, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there are like hundreds of essential oils out there. Like There's a vast variety of essential oils. Like Anything that you could think of, there's probably an essential oil. Um, you know, As long as it's a plant or a tree, there's probably an essential oil for it. So some of the essential oils that I really like are peppermint oil. I love the way this feels when I add it into like my deep conditioner or even my shampoo because you could just feel it stimulating your scalp. It feels so good and smells so good. I also really, really like um, rosemary essential oil. And this is said to help stimulate hair growth as well. And then there are two. There are two essential oil blends that I have. The first being the Art Natural Signature Zen Blend. And I do like to add this into um, my DIY projects. And this one includes lavender oil, sweet orange oil, and rosemary oil. And then they also have a Signature Chi Blend, but this one is more for like aromatherapy type of uses. And it contains lavender, or excuse me, it contains eucalyptus, peppermint oil, fern needle, tea tree, lemon, laurel leaf, and cardamom oil. So I feel like this oil would be more suited for aromatherapy. So I've included a table here that I found from a website and the website is listed on the figure picture um, showing you where I got it from. But basically it just lists what oils are good for different types of hair conditions. So if you're suffering from hair loss or if you have greasy hair, it shows what oils would be good for those things. So definitely check that out and see which oils may be, you know, which oils may work for you. Now, combining carrier oils with essential oils can be so good and so beneficial for natural hair. One thing that I really like to use hair oils for um, is to seal in the moisture in my hair. So after I wash and deep condition my hair, I like to apply a nice um, thick, um, hair oil to help seal in the moisture that the water provided and I use a DIY, DIY hair oil that I made and I'll link that video above so you can check it out to see what my mixture um, had in it. So after I wash my hair I just add that um, oil on there to really help seal in that moisture and it leaves my hair feeling so soft and just so good and it really does stay moisturized for a decent amount of time. The other thing that um, a hair oil mixture can be used for is to stimulate hair growth. I'm sure if you walk down the natural hair care aisle, you have seen so many you know, hair growth oils or products that claim to be hair growth oils. And really, if you have the correct mixture of oils, it really can help to stimulate hair growth. So two of the oils that are on the market that I really like are the Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Serum Oil Mist, which is supposed to help to support natural growth and retention. And this is from the main choice. And you can see I've used a good amount of this oil. This oil just honestly, I love it because it smells really, really good. And I'll leave the ingredient list over here on the side so you can see what oil oil blend is um, contained in here but really this oil smells so good and it leaves my hair so soft and adds a very nice shine to my hair the other hair growth oil that y'all I just absolutely love it now this oil does cost about like 20 something dollars but trust me I paid that 20 something dollars um, it is the Chevaux Noir by Sidora Paris and she is a youtuber and I'll link her channel in the description box if you're interested in checking her out but she made this hair growth oil and it really contains like some bomb and I do absolutely mean bomb oils. So it has black seed oil, Irish sea moss, and black castor oil, and it has a natural lavender fragrance. And y'all, when I tell you, this is probably one of the best investments that I made in a hair growth oil because it. I had a spot over here. I'm gonna um, post some pictures in here too, insert some pictures. I had a spot on this side of my hair where my hair was thinning out, which I honestly believe it was from stress because I noticed that it was happening around the time 
that I was getting married and I was pretty stressed like with wedding planning and really just dealing with all the people <laughs> like that stressed me out so I feel like that kind of caused my hair to thin out a bit but using this oil really helped my hair to thicken up in that area so you can see from the before and after and this is like two three weeks apart um, I haven't been using it like I should be using it but I'm gonna definitely get back um, to using this on a regular basis so yeah check this out because this oil I love it. I absolutely love it. I actually need to buy me some more bottles. I think it's still on back order. I don't know, but I'm going to definitely give me some more. <laughs> if you have had luck with any hair growth oils or if there's just other hair oil blends that you really enjoy, let me know down in the comment section so I can try to make my own version of them because I'm really trying to get back into my DIY. Um, you know kick <laughs> so yes if there are some blends that you like or even if it's you know something that has to be purchased let me know in the comment section i will be sure to check them out and i really hope that this video was informative in some way like i said it was just like an intro video but i do think that um what i the information that i presented to you are you know kind of things that you should know especially if you're just dabbling into making your own hair oils or you just want to learn a little bit more about hair oils there are so many resources online and just so many references that you can look into and i'll try to link some websites in the description box to websites that i found helpful when i first started to you know learn about hair oils um so yeah like i said i, I really do hope it was helpful be sure to comment down below if you learned something from this video and if I've missed something in this video that you felt should have been included, let me know that in the comment section as well. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated and see more content from your girl. And I will see y'all in my next one. Oh yeah, don't forget y'all, make sure you stay dazzling. I'm doing so, 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 so. I'm doing so, 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 so. I'm doing so, 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 so good. I know y'all's off key.